and welcome, or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl, Penny, and this is my awesome dad, George. Dad, where are we today? Waffle House. Dad is exactly right, guys. We're at Waffle House. We've had so many of y'all in the Penny Pinchers crew say for us to try Waffle House. Dad has never had it. I've had it in the past, but I've never been too excited about it. But I'm kind of interested on what I got here, okay? I got a, uh, what did I get? <laughs> I got a, good. okay, yeah, it does smell good. That's right. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese grits bowl, guys. I'm showing my southern roots, okay? I got that. I told Dad that they had a sausage, a Texas sausage, egg, and cheese melt. He said that sounded good for him. Guys, when did Waffle House become so pricey? Everywhere has become pricey, right? But, man, we got two items, and it, I gave a small tip. But before the tip, it was like $20, okay? And my small tip added on. This all come to $22.75. Wow. And this is Dad's sandwich, okay? So, like I said, he got a Texas sausage, egg, and cheese melt. It's supposed to be on Texas bread. They're charging $6.70 for this, guys. And what is it? It's two Jimmy Dean sausage patties, one egg, fried hard egg, two slices of American cheese on Texas toast. So they got it cut in half. So I'm going to hand you one mm -hmm. half, Dad. That sounds good. And then you just let me know. We're all kind of keep track of how far you are. But And I got a grits bowl, guys. Now I added some stuff to this, and it, this is what became a little pricey. Mm-hmm. So the grits bowl comes with grits, and there's a lot of grits in here, guys. This thing is hefty. Um, you could get it with sausage or bacon, right? So the regular grits bowl comes with eggs and a choice of meat, right, and cheese. I added uh, smothered onions, okay, the grilled onions. I did add the onions. So if I would have got it without the onions, this would have been $10.85. But you add the onion, 65 cents more, $11.50 for this bowl. And then she asked me if I wanted um, hot sauce. I think she said they had Tabasco. Yeah, I said, yeah, maybe if it needs a little extra flavor. But look at this thing, guys. This thing is heavy. I'm talking this thing. It's a good two pounds. I told Dad I'll be eating on this all day. Let's give this thing a whirl. Girl, or girls, <laughs> guys, <laughs> girls and guys, if you're looking for an honest food review channel, this is it, okay? So please, we ask you to please subscribe. Uh, the subscribe button is down below, guys. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free, it's easy. And guys, if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, we understand but can you take a few extra seconds and help support us by clicking that thumbs up? That really does help us out, guys. It pushes our videos out and recommends more people to you know, watch our videos. And so we can get more Penny Pinchers crew, guys. We love you for watching us every day and clicking the thumbs up. And give us the great respectful comments. What's your favorite thing at Waffle House? Please tell me that, too. Okay. You see that kind of here? Well, it disappeared. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. You ready for the other half? Yeah. Okay. I need an open ham. It is very good, guys, but I gotta try some Tabasco. She said they had Tabasco sauce. I'm gonna try a little. I'm trying to figure out where to set this. Because it wasn't sitting on my leg in between the. Oh, man. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little drizzle here on this corner.
the onions, adding the onions was a good call. It's giving it a little extra flavor. The Tabasco is really good on it too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm honest, like I said, guys. Back in the day, we used to call Waffle House the awful waffle. <laughs> okay. Did you guys ever call it that? We called it the awful waffle because, you know, it has always been... It, it's one of those places that you just think it's like a greasy spoon. Have you ever heard it called that, too, as well? Um, but... They're changing this is changing my mind a little bit guys the 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 grits the grits aren't super thick and the grits aren't runny now I've gotten grits in some places and the grits are super runny or they're super like wallpaper thick right wallpaper paste thick this does not this is a good it's, they got a good consistency on their grits I feel like they could have added a little more cheese. Okay, I feel like I'm a little bummed on my cheese. I only see a few little strands of cheese. Now, I ordered off their website. But I think it's best to go in and give your order because on their website you don't got as many choices like for extra cheese or I kind of wanted, I thought about, well, let me know. I thought about getting some gravy, okay? The sausage gravy. Um, I thought about getting that. Now, I think you can get the gravy on it, but I didn't want it on it. You know what I mean? I wanted it, like, on the side. That's the only thing bad about apps and websites ordering. You don't have the options to get stuff on the side or whatever. Or you don't know how they're going to give it to you, right? So, I think if I ordered this again... I would say, you know, make sure you give me plenty of cheese because I'm this is really lacking in cheese, okay? It really is. But tastes great. Would be even better with more cheese. <laughs> I think if this had more cheese, I would give this a little higher score. Okay, guys, and I'm being honest with you. I only see like a couple little strands. I've seen, I've been in Waffle House before where you get the hash brown bowl and there's like two slices of cheese that's really thick. And it, this is just, it's not. I, I think they forgot my cheese, to be honest. To be honest, because I'm not seeing any cheese unless it's mixed in with these. I ain't tasting it. Still got a great flavor. Man, I'm trying to think of a score for that thing. That is a good flavor here. Let's get a drink here. Give me a second, Dad, because my hands will be full. I would get that grits bowl again guys I would like I said I would go in and be, make sure hey like make sure you put the cheese on because I'm not seeing the cheese in there when I got when I get home I got some cheese in the fridge of course I can throw some more cheese on it which I probably will um wow I'm gonna give my grits bowl a score and then we'll talk about dad sandwich um I would get it again and I think it's a little pricey but it's a lot of food Because it's lacking the cheese, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 because it is, it tastes great. I really do think with the American cheese on it, I think I would have easily given that a 9, maybe a 9.5, possibly a perfect 10, okay? But with it lacking the cheese, like I said, I don't think they put it on. I said an 8.5, right? 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Dad sandwich, a Texas sausage, egg, and cheese melt, and Jimmy Dean sausage on it. I make Dad some sausage sandwiches at home, so that's why he, so when I mentioned it to him that this had a sausage, Jimmy Dean sausage on it, he was like, I think I want that. 
did, would you get that again, Dad? I would definitely. Wow. I would definitely. Okay. Um, this is a funny question, but I, I, I gotta know. Would you rather have that, that sandwich or like a McDonald's? I'd rather have this sandwich. Because why is this giving you like a more it's like a more, whole like more, a whole, more of a breakfast meal? So, is it giving you like a more like a home cooked sandwich type thing? Like it's something like I might have put together. No, it does. Something it like does. that. Yeah. And McDonald's gives you that fast food sandwich, right? And he loves McDonald's sausage egg and cheese McMuffins or whatever. Okay, Dad, uh, you would get this one again, right? You're right. Is there anything else you'd like to say about it? There was, there was plenty of cheese. Yeah. And plenty of uh, yeah, sausage. Mm -hmm. And plenty of egg. I don't know what else you would ask for on Texas toast. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a A1 sandwich for breakfast. It was a breakfast sandwich and it's, and it's full of feeling. What's and, I would say go buy it. <laughs> what score out of 10 would you give it? I would give you a 10. A perfect 10 for 10, a purple sandwich? And 10. There you go, guys. It was, it was good Jimmy Dean sausage. Mm -hmm. It was good egg, uh, good egg in proportion and cheese. And uh, the Texas toast yeah. was melted and butter. Yeah, and you was able to chew through it right. and everything. Okay, wow. Dad gave it a perfect 10, guys. Um, I didn't have no trouble with eating it. I enjoyed it very much. I was not prepared for us to give this hot stuff high score. Because like I said, back in the day, we always called Waffle House Waffle Waffle. I have a hard time calling it Waffle House because we... We called it Waffle Awful Waffle so many times when I was younger that's hard for me to say Waffle House. So anyway, guys, let us know. Is there biscuits and gravy any good? I would like to know that. Um, I've had some of their hash brown bowls before. Maybe Dad might want to try one of those sometime. Uh, they have other things. You know, they don't have an extensive menu, but they have an okay menu. So let us know if, you know, if there's anything else you'd like to see us review from Waffle House. <laughs> oh, I like the the bowls and the, the sandwiches, but this uh, this breakfast uh, breakfast meal is uh, what's happening. <laughs> it's what's happening for you, huh? Yeah, it's it, <laughs> it, it, it's a spot. It's a spot. <laughs> oh boy, Dad, they crack me up sometimes. <laughs> It, it, it really fun. did. It really did. It did for me too, guys. I'm, I was pleasantly surprised. I am a little let down about my cheese. It did say it was supposed to have, um, I believe, two slices of American cheese on there, and it's not on there. So they forgot my cheese. They gave me my onions. The onions did add. Thank goodness they gave me the onions because I think I would have really thought it was bland. But wow, well, they in in the grits are a good consistency, guys. Like I said, I've had grits from some places that are super thick, that almost taste like wallpaper paste, right? And I've had grits from other places where it's like super thin, you know, almost like cream of wheat. It's so thin, it like drips off your spoon. So this is a very good consistency of grits. It, you know. I don't good. like the sausage, uh, uh, grits. grits. You don't like grits? I don't like that grits. That is so shocking, being but a southern boy. Sauce, sausage and egg and mashed potatoes and potato, fried potatoes. Yeah. It uh, was a, a good bowl. That is so shocking. Him being a southern boy. I wasn't born in the south, guys. I was born in Ohio, right? But Dad being a southern boy and he doesn't like grits, I find that so shocking. We he, never had grits. Uh, really? I'm shocked. Um, me, I was born in Ohio. Um, but I've always liked to try different things, right? And I've tried grits and stuff like that. Um, what's the other thing? Polenta. I've tried polenta. Well, I love shrimp and grits as well. But anyway, I love grits. So I guess Dad passed on that southern roots to me because I love grits. I love them prepared different ways. Guys, tell me your favorite way to prepare grits. Now, Connie went on vacation to Tennessee, and she got grits. And I said, how did you how'd you fix them? Did, did you do anything? Did you add it to your food? What did you do? You know, she had them for breakfast, right? She said, I put butter and a little sprinkle of sugar. And I'm like, there you go. I do like grits that way. I also like grits with butter and salt and pepper. 
That's good I too. Um, but I do like it with sugar. I do. I told her I would do a little more in a sprinkle, but that's just me. <laughs> but it's really good with good butter too. So I enjoyed my breakfast uh, uh, sandwich. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad, Dad. I. It uh, was a good sausage, a uh, good uh, egg, and good toast. Okay. And good cheese. I'm glad. I am so glad we had both enjoyed it. Um. Anyway, that's it. I want ready to let these guys go. Yeah, ready? ready? Okay, ready. guys. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.